Hello! Welcome back! Um, so, today I have a special recipe. Uh, recipe from my mom. <laughs> and it's called marmitaco. Okay? Marmitaco is a typical dish, typical uh, summer, actually it's a summer dish basically because the main fish is tuna but you can do it with any fish in this case I'm not gonna do it with uh, tuna because it's not tuna season so we'll be using monkfish um, simple, tasty um, it's a potato stew, let's call it this way in English and um, yeah, um, hope you like it and now I'm gonna show you how to do it First thing that we need to have a very nice marmitaco is having a very nice fish stock, a fume. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna put in this saucepan. So for that, we are gonna use the carrots that you just have seen, a leek, and if you have fish bones and small pieces of, of fish like uh, that you use for the fish pie, you can put in here. I don't have that, so I just uh, use it. I'm gonna use a little bit of the fish um, of the monkfish that I'm gonna add later on on the marmitaco. So for that, we add just the all the ingredients into the into the pan. The fish is here. I already have boiling water, well, hot water from the kettle. I'm gonna put it this. To, I'm gonna bring it to, to boil and it's gonna be uh, boiling for 25 minutes then we will take it out of the fire um, and let it sit for 15 minutes it will infusion in, infusion infusion whatever is the word uh, for 15 minutes and it will be ready um, while we are doing the fish stock I am going to fry the onion with the uh, with the red um, with the green pepper, a garlic clove, and I will add the pimiento choricero, the some dried pepper sauce that I saw you on my previous recipe for the stuffed um, stuffed peppers. So that's what I'm gonna do this now. Now that the onion and the pepper with the garlic is cooked a little bit, I'm going to add the sun dried pepper. Okay. I think like two spoons are good. And I will fry a little bit for a while. So you see that I'm getting busier and busier here. I have now the pressure pump because I'm gonna cook the potatoes in the pressure pump. I have the food meal that I finally got it, okay? So what we are going to do is we are gonna process the sauce that we have done, okay? With the onion, the pepper, and the sundry pepper and the garlic. And we are gonna process it through the food meal so it will be at the bottom of the of this pressure pan. And after that, we are gonna fry a little bit the potatoes with this sauce. We will add the fish stock we will close the pressure pan and we will cook it and within minutes we will have an amazing and tasty marmitaco hi so i have processed everything through the food mill so you can see everything is ready and the next step is to fry the potatoes in this um, in the sauce so you can see the way I have cut the, um, the potatoes. If you go back to the tortilla de patata video, you will see that it was like having a cut and cracking the, the potato, okay? I also added a little bit of salt, like just a tiny bit, because the, the fish is gonna have the salt. So there they go. We will fry them for no more than one, two minutes. What we want is that the potatoes get 
the whole sauce around and fry it a little bit and after that we will be covering the potatoes we don't need to add much water but it's, we will just cover the potatoes with the um, fish stock the fume which is at the moment infusion we will close the saucepan and when the um, when the valve uh, gets lifted uh, we we'll just wait for 10 minutes and then it will be done I'm gonna continue frying the potatoes a little bit and I will show you the next steps so everything is done and I have put the colander here because I don't want any of the of the two vegetables are and the fish that are, that is here so here we have the fumet if we don't have enough fumet we will just need to add more water to the to the corn okay actually my case I'm gonna just give it a little bit like this add some more water just to cover the potatoes we don't need to we don't need to put much water just to cover them this is already smelling really good Okay, and if you like spicy, um, spicy things or whatever, you can add chili peppers. So I'm gonna add one and another one because it's quite a it's quite a quantity. So two. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm going to close the saucepan, let it get hot. And after the valve goes up, 10 minutes, and then I will just remove it from the from the gas and let it sit until the valve goes down. And I will continue while I'm not adding, I'm not still adding the the fish. That's the trick about this. So everything is done. The valve is already down because after the 10 minutes uh, cooking, I took it out of the of the gas and um, you just need to wait until the valve is down the valve down means that there is no pressure and it's safe to actually open the, the pressure pump so i'm just gonna do like this i'm gonna open it and oh my god mm, take a look at that this is just amazing so what's next you can cook this and have it like ready uh, since the morning and then you just need to heat it up uh, whenever you are ready for lunch. So what you have to do now is put the fish and it's when you are going to be ready to eat. I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to turn the, the gas on a little bit, not in this one, in this one. Okay. And what we need to do is wait a little bit until it hits down, hits a little bit up, sorry. And we are just going to add the fish. As I said earlier, I have put a little bit of uh, salt on the fish as well, just a tiny bit. So we are just going to remove and let it cook for a while. And voila, here you can see my marmitaco with monkfish. Hope you enjoy and I would love to see some pictures. Bye!